Hi everyone, welcome. I am Charlotte. I work at the First Year Advising Center and today we're going to be talking with Janice Basque from Unamagi College. Uh, so Janice, could you tell us a bit about your role here at CBU? Hi Charlotte. So my role at CBU, I work with Indigenous students. I'm a student support worker and I'm also an enrollment services specialist. So I help students with their course selections and uh, registration and any student support services that they would need. Awesome. So could you tell us a bit about what is Unamagi College? Unamagi College is for our Indigenous students. We have a full staff there. Um, so half our staff do speak Mi'kmaq. And if, uh, you know, students are wanting or needing support um, either emotionally and uh, mentally, academically, there's, there's a team of us that are uh, more than willing to help. We have our elders in residence uh, and they're both there uh, during the week. So that's a comforting um, piece for our students, a very important one. And uh, we have the Onamaki College Student Lounge, which is uh, in our department. So the students get a lot of face-to-face -face time with the faculty and with our staff. So we have a full kitchen there. Um, We'll, we'll have kitchen. They, so if the students want to bring their lunch, there's a fridge there. Uh, there's a microwave. We are um, we we have their study room. So they have uh, their desktops there. And if they need internet access or if they need to print or if they need any kind of services um, of that sort, that's always available for them. Even when we're closed at 4.35 o'clock, um, it's still open for the students. So the securities can open its, um, the doors for the students and it's available in the evenings and on the weekends if they want to come and study and need a quiet place to study and, you know, um, maybe meet up with a friend and do group group work. Yeah. Uh, so could you tell us a bit about the academic supports that Unamagi College offers? So some of the academic supports that we offer at Unamagi College, one of, one of the things that we do um, offer is we have our faculty that are um, housed in Otomagi College, so the students do get a lot of face-to-face -face time if they need to uh, drop in on a professor or one of the instructors so that they feel comfortable with talk talking to them. Um, I work with student services, so we're, we're, uh, we did set times up for drop-in sessions um, to engage the students in the student supports and have them uh, be visible. and. We do the drop-in sessions once a week in the afternoon. So we have the Math and Writing Center that come and um, they do tutor, tutoring services for the students that may need it, uh, whether they're taking their sciences or maths. Uh, there's always a tutor uh, once a week, all afternoon. And then we do also have the write, uh, Reading and Writing Center that come by once a week, same thing. It's a drop-in center, uh, they're there all afternoon. And then we also have our librarian that comes and she also comes once a week for the full afternoon. And normally I just look at their schedules and, you know, base it around uh, the tra high traffic air uh, times. And, you know, we make it work every every school year, every term. Um, and we do find a lot of students that do use these resources end up uh, picking up those bookings at the student services uh, when they become more comfortable. So with this semester being online, could you tell us a bit about the online supports that Unamagi College will have? The online supports that we are uh, planning, we actually already started Zoom sessions. So we'll just drop in Zoom sessions and such. And I've been jotting down, you know, whatever students are inquiring about or any questions that they have. And, you know, I'm going to have these sessions once a week and, and as needed. Um, so last week we had the librarian come and she gave a tour of the library. Next week we'd like to have the right reading and writing center and have people drop in. So those kind of things um, are being set up as we speak and just uh, just reassuring students and uh, having any questions before September starts. And when September starts, we'll we'll be doing the same thing. We'll, We'll base it around the need of what what our students are needing. Um, I'd like to, you know, mix it up a bit with the first year and the um, upper level students, so we have that support system in place too, and make those connections. So, if people are interested in learning more, who can they contact? How can they get in touch with you? 
They can follow us on our social media pages. Uh, Onamagi College, we do have a Facebook page and we do have a Twitter page and we do have an Instagram account. So that'll be a great way to keep up to date with uh, anything new that we're doing or any scholarships that are opening up, any opportunities that are open up and any events that we are planning. Uh, otherwise, they can go to the website. We do have our Indigenous um, Indigenous website on the CBU at, under Onamagi College and they can find any of our staff members listed there. Awesome, thank you so much. So is there anything else you'd like to add about Unamagi College? Um, if anyone's looking to, you know, speak to one of us or if they want to meet with any of the elders in residence, we're they're still available online um, or over the phone. Just get in touch with one of us on our website, give us an email and uh, we'll get back to you. We can set it up. Awesome. Thank you so much, Janice. You're welcome.